Animal Kingdom is trying to attack the Mungus characters. What in the heck is going on over here? Uh, come on, you got this. Oh, there's a lot of stabby stuff going on is what's happening. Oh, that is cool looking. Wait, are any of the commandos going to go down? again in animal revolt battle simulator and today folks we have a awesome fight because we are fighting the trendy characters so trendy character number one is going to be our grand champion siren head and you know what there's an imposter or more like 20 of them because we have the imposter army from among us so without further ado let's fight oh man this is like the cutest character ever look at them they're so cute uh, they also stab. Uh, also, here comes Siren Head. You know, I feel like we need to upgrade Siren Head. We need to make him even more of an awesome character. All right, here we go. I'm not really sure what's happening. Uh, the imposters, they're ganging up on Siren Head, but oh, they're getting crushed by his feet. Uh, are they dying, though, is the question. Oh, yep, there's pieces flying everywhere. Oh, this might be a bloodbath. Uh, okay, their, uh, their attacks are actually kind of cool with the stabbing, but I feel like they're not getting through. They need to tip Siren Head over because Siren Head's a little too OP. <laughs> and I wanted to upgrade him. I mean, we're still gonna do it. We're gonna like stick a hundred missiles on him and maybe some guns and make the ultimate Siren Head. Wait, they've got him down on his back. Nope, never mind. he's back up. Okay, so what are these characters? Oh, they're hippos. That's why they're making that noise. It's kind of weird. Come on, stab his feet. Give him some stabby stabby. Oh boy. I. I feel like Siren Head is going to win this one pretty easy. How do we make the Among Us characters more lethal? I mean, we could strap bombs to them and hope that would work. Okay, so I feel like the Among Us army is a good idea against other units. Siren Head, not so much. So you know what? Siren Head has earned an upgrade. All right, so we're going to upgrade Siren Head. But first, I've got to give a shout out to Coinflip. This is the creator on the workshop. I know I don't like to alter stuff on the workshop, so I want to shout out this creation first. And I'm going to go ahead and upgrade it real quick. So definitely go check it out. Oh boy, look at this. We're giving Siren Head all the missiles. Uh, Siren Head's become a lot more deadly here. Also, if you guys are excited for some more Animal Revolt Battle Simulator, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. If not, Upgraded Siren Head's coming to your house. Okay, folks, I bring you Upgraded Siren Head. He's got guns. He's got harpoons. He's got a ton of missiles. Look at this. Oh, no. Oh, oh, he trips. Uh-oh. He might have been tripped up by his own missiles, but it's fine. He's got only like a bajillion of them. And look at the harpoon shooting down, trying to grab the characters. Oh, those missiles in. Oh, that is amazing looking. All right. Yep. We made Siren Head even more OP. What have we done? Oh, the poor Among Us army. Oh, he fell down again. It's fine. Totally fine. All right. And there's a couple more to go here. So, you know what? We proved it once again. Siren Head's like one of the ultimate characters here. That's actually frightening. And he fell on his face. Well, you know, we do, before we move on to the uh, user battles, we do need to do like a smaller army versus the Among Us characters. I want to see truly their potential. All right. So for this one, I think we need to do humans. So we'll do a massive human army here. Probably like a hundred characters. And uh, then we're going to move on. I want to use a unit that I don't necessarily use uh, very often. It's going to be the normal animals. And uh, we'll do a fight with the Among Us characters there. And then we'll move on to our couple user battles, which we got some really cool ones. So stay tuned to the end of the video. All right, here we go. We got the Spartans versus the Among Us army. Who do you guys think is going to win? I mean, the Spartans got the numbers, but the Among Us characters, they've got the armor. All right, here we go. Boom. Oh, that looks cool. Here they come. Come on, Spartans. See what you got here. Can you break through the armor of the Among Us characters? Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, they're going right through. But the Among Us characters have the size. Look at them. They're just forcing them back. This is actually kind of cool looking. I can't tell what's happening right now. Um, the Spartans are creating like two little rugby little circles. And oh, they're tearing apart the Among Us characters. 
Uh, okay, maybe this wasn't a good idea. So, Spartans, pretty strong little unit. Probably my favorite human unit, at least uh, on the ancient units. The modern units, it's got to be the rocket person. Oh, jeez. Okay, the Among Us characters are falling. I mean, they did a decent bit of damage. I would say we've taken out uh, maybe 30 or so Spartans. They're still fighting, too. What the heck's this one over here doing? This one over here seems a little lost. It's fine. You know, folks, it's not over. There's a big group of Among Us characters over here. Uh, should the imposters go over there and stab some more Spartans? I think so. Get over there. Do your job. Stop fighting this one. You know, it's really hard for them to stab things, it looks like. Like, I know the Spartans got a shield, and it appears to be blocking a lot of the attacks. We are going to have to do some sort of animal army here. Uh, I want something that's uh, a little more fleshy and doesn't have a, a shield, because... Yeah, Among Us characters' attacks, while being probably fairly strong, it's not good against Spartans. This one's running. Oh no, you can almost hear him screaming. It's fine, little buddy. Oh, never mind. All right, so a unit I don't really use much at all is going to be the modern mammals. Uh, there's some really cool ones here. You got like the giraffe, the elephant. We're not going to use the rocket elephant because it might be OP. Let's maybe do, we'll do a line of tigers. So we'll go 10 tigers. Uh, we'll mix in some polar bear commanders here. I'll do five of those. Uh, maybe we'll stick a small line of wild boar in the front. I feel like those are actually gonna be really good against the Among Us units because they have really low expose points with the hippo. And then finally, we're gonna do three giraffes. So let's see what they've got here. Three, two, one, go. All right. Ooh, the Animal Kingdom is trying to attack the Among Us characters. And once again, that stabbing, I feel like it works good against big fleshy characters. Small ones, it's kind of hard for them to hit, but it doesn't look like the animals are doing a ton of damage here. Uh, oh, I see uh, boars flying. Okay, wait, is this something the Among Us characters can handle? Come on. They're doing good, I think. What in the heck is going on over here? Uh, come on, you got this. Oh, there's a lot of stabby stuff going on is what's happening. Oh, this is fine. Okay. Uh, so the giraffes, those are pretty strong, but look at the uh, Among Us characters, the little piercers. Those things are deadly if they actually hit their mark. Oh, there goes a flying tiger. All right. Well, I think the Among Us characters definitely are going to win this one. None of them are down. So it really took those Spartans with the uh, long spears to be able to stab the uh, hippo on the bottom because the animals can't do anything towards these. That's pretty cool. All right, folks, I think it's about to end. You got the one last giraffe. Get out of here, little buddy. Uh, you don't want to be in this area. Oh, never mind. So the Among Us characters look really happy. <laughs> All right, let's move on to the next battle. All right, so for our next battle, this wasn't actually a highly upvoted comment. It was fairly new, but I like the idea. So what they want me to do, and this is by James, it says, shrink blade worms and use them like an army of leeches jumping on human units. I like that. I mean, it sounds evil, but it sounds really cool. So we grab these and we actually shrink them down. Look how far you can go down with them. So that's point two. So let's go boom. And I chose the desert map for this because it's uh, they kind of blend in, so it's kind of creepy looking. All right, so how does 100 leeches sound? That sounds creepy. There we go. So we got 100 leeches, and they wanted to see human units. Now, I'm not sure if they want to just watch the blade worms eat the humans or what they really want here. So what I'm going to do, it's going to be pretty much a bloodbath. We're going to put some coward coals in there. So we'll stick one, two, maybe we'll stick five of these. All right, here we go. Oh, they're already running. Oh, that's creepy. It's also extremely, extremely slow. So as you can see here in like 20 minutes, the worms are gonna either push the coward coals off the cliff or they're gonna eat them alive. I might should have stuck the humans like right there. They jump, don't they? Um, Yeah, this is actually kind of funny. All right, folks, here we go. <laughs> You guys are going to stop, right? Like, oh no, we need a fighting unit. Oh, this is where they stop. Well, this is the end of the line for the uh, the coward coals. Also, these things always look like Logan Paul a little bit. So, yeah, this is the end of the line. Oh boy. 
Can your little umbrellas deflect all the uh, little slugs or leeches or blade worm thingies? These are disgusting looking, by the way. Ugh, give me the creeps. Oh, they're panicking now. They started screaming. It's fine. Just accept your fate. You can't run off the cliff. I wonder if they'll get knocked off uh, once the worms get to them. Also, this slow movement speed. This is actually really, really painful. Oh, oh, there they go. Oh, 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 dude, that's so cool. Oh, okay, they just launched one off. Uh, dude, you might want to run. So they launched and just completely devoured those uh, coward coals. Oh, boy. All right, well, we got to watch the last one, right? I wonder if he's just going to do circles here. I mean, it's not like they're catching really fast. He also looks like he's doing a dance. This is great. He's like he's tap dancing. All right, you can't tap dance your way out of this situation. Oh, here they come. Oh, man. Oh, it doesn't even take many. Uh, you know what? I, I want to do something real quick. I want to do one more thing here. Well, let's get a fighting unit. I just want to see if maybe something with a machine gun can hold off these, uh, these worms real quick. So let's go team two. There we go. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. And three, two, one, go. Oh, man. Oh. Well, that was quick. Hey, you let off the gas grenade. It's fine. Okay, so I really like this next suggestion. This one's similar to uh, the one we just did. This is by Noah Jr. Gaming. It says, next, make a fight with 100 ants and one big ant against 10 humans with guns. So what I think I'm going to do here, let me go ahead and select them. So we have the bull ant, and I feel like the bull ant's a little big. So I want to say it's something like the, uh, the slug suggestion or the leech one. Look at these. So these things are tiny now. I mean, they're not really tiny if it was uh, next to a person, but still, I can get away with placing a lot of these. So let's do a big army. These are going to be hard to hit, but once again, with them being small, they're going to be probably fairly slow. So we'll do an army of 100 of those, and they wanted to see a big ant, so we'll do like a queen ant. We'll do a 1.5 scale one. So we've got those. They want to see uh, 10 humans with guns, which I'm assuming that's going to be, uh, I guess, the, uh, the modern commando. So we're going to go 10 of these, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, start. Oh, those things are so fast. What the heck? Even though they're slow, they're fast. Oh, that is cool looking. Wait, are any of the commandos going to go down? Look at him going crazy. That's creepy. You know, this kind of reminds me of one of those, uh, or actually the EDF games uh, with all the ants. Of course, those ants are a little bit bigger, but wait, are any of the commandos going to go down? Oh, there is one dead. Oh, they're getting attacked, though. They're getting surrounded. It's hard for them to take them all down, and they're just jumping up. I thought the commandos had this. They don't. <gasps> that was cool. That was so cool. Hold on. We got to do this again. Uh, I want to add more ants. I know that. Folks, I don't know if this is too many, but we're doing 200 now. Oh, boy. That's a lot of little ants. All right, so we've got those. So the humans need something here. But what is that something? Do they just need numbers, or should we add something for them? We could do it like a... No, actually, I was thinking about doing a landfill, and then I immediately stopped myself going, why would you do that? You're just going to blow up all the ants. I mean, that would help the humans, of course, but uh, that's not what we're wanting to do here. So we'll do 20 versus uh, 201 here. So you have the 200 small ones, and you have the, the big queen ant. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Don't lag. Oh, it's laggy. Okay, let's do it in slow-mo. Dude, look at them flying. They're just scrambling. Like that attack, though, it makes them hard to hit. All right, here we go. The big ant is going after one of the commandos. Oh, boy, but here comes all the small ones. They have no chance. Like, I feel like I need to give them some rocket boys or something. Dude, that is ridiculous looking. And also, it's uh, really, really noisy. And look at the ants. They're just swarming back here. Like, they're just... Actually, some of them are doing handstands, but I'm not really sure what that's all about. All right, so we go over to the action here. The troops are getting ripped apart by the ants. This is brutal. Like, I like this fight. This idea was really, really good. All right, we got the last squadron back here. They're trying to fight them off. They got kind of a cool little wall going here. But I don't think it's enough because these ants are going to start swarming. Here they come. Oh, wait. They're doing still a good job here. Hold on. Have they found a strategy? Have they learned somehow? 
Uh, keep firing. Yeah, some of the ants aren't even going after the people anymore, which is a little confusing. It's like their line of sight is really small, but no, they're scrambling, though. They're not just sitting there. Uh, I'm so confused, but the commandos, they might have something here. So the commandos have banded together, and they're actually doing a good job. Oh, one of them just got bit. Oh, uh oh, this is where they start to fall. They're, oh, the wall broke. See, and then the ants get them all separated, and then, oh, they're going to lose here. You know, there for a second, I thought the commandos had it. Oh, look at the one brave commando. He's just sitting here. He's probably panicking right now. Oh, 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 geez. Oh. All right. Well, you know what? Look at that. They took down an absolute ton of the ants. So not bad. Not bad at all. All right. So for the last battle, this is something that I want to continue to do here. So this little shrinking of people. I've got one more idea because this is going to make it look like the, uh, the scale of the big creatures are just absolutely ginormous. So what we're going to do, let's get some bold billies here. So this will be our team one. So we can shrink these down. Look how small they are. So if you have the bold billies be this size, which already the big stuff is, I mean, big compared to the humans. But now it's going to be like Godzilla times 20 here. So if we were to get even the T-Rex, let's get a T-Rex here. We'll do team two. So that's a normal scale now. Look how big it is what if we were to do a bigger one huh let's scale this one up holy man can it even eat the people like that's actually a really good question on where can i stick you uh over here there we go uh it's so big it's heads weighing it down that's cool looking all right let's go ahead and try this real quick what's gonna happen okay oh can you guys even eat them i mean you could step on them for sure oh they could still eat them also the big t-rex just fell I'm pretty sure the big T-Rex is too big. Uh, he's, what is he doing? Oh dear. Oh, now they're stepping on the poor little humans. Oh man, the uh, the attack with the uh, snout or the nose there. Uh, so the big T-Rex just killed itself. It's fine. Oh, you can see down its mouth. Wait, how far can we go down there? Nope, that's about it. So yeah, it's still fairly effective. It can grab some of them, but it's using morally its body as the, uh, the main attack. Oh, what the heck? All right, that was a good bite there. Okay, so scaling up is not really good in the game, but scaling down is actually quite amazing. And it's created some amazing battles here today. So if you guys have any suggestions for future battles, comment down below. We'll try to feature them in the episodes. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time in Animal Revolt Battle Simulator.